guys, my name is Paige, and today we'll be talking about how I started my business. The name of my business is Snow Off Lash MIA. Um, I started my business in 2017 um, just off of wanting to make some extra money. I had a conversation with a friend of mine, and I, was, I had a shoe line prior, and we were talking about relaunching my shoe line. And um, my friend, she always supported me and all of my crazy ideas. And she was just like, okay, friend, go for it. So then I was like, no, I don't want to do the shoes no more. And I said I was going to do hair. Then I was like, no, I don't want to do hair. It takes too long. So then I said I was going to do lashes. Now, when I said I was going to do lashes, I knew nothing about doing lashes. I knew absolutely nothing about doing lashes. And she was just, all right, friend, you can do lashes. So we even went on to talk about like where I will put the lash table and all that stuff in my house. And I mean, when I say she got really creative, she got really creative. Um, later that night, my boyfriend came home from work and I was just like, babe, I'm gonna do lashes. And he was just like, all right. And I don't know if anybody took me serious. I don't even know if I took myself serious at the time because like I said, I didn't know anything about doing lashes. Um, I started doing some research on YouTube on how to do lash extensions and I kind of got obsessed with it and because I had really wanted to learn how to do it and I called a cousin of mine and I was just like girl I need a name I want to start doing lashes so she um I text her and she texted me back all these names and I was just like no I don't like that name that name is ratchet I want something more like dainty you know and she texted me back something with snob and somehow or another we came up with snob lash in my a um i started practicing on family members first and the first time i practiced on somebody i didn't know what i was doing it was a total shocker because looking at youtube it kind of looked easy um once you keep watching it over and over again and thankfully she came back and let me practice on her again um, I had a few family members that let me practice on them. And once I got the gist of it, I started charging $30. I started charging $30 and I had got a lot of college students. I got a lot of adults as well. And I would give people disclaimers to let them know that it takes me about two hours, two and a half hours to complete a full set. Um, I got much, much better um, and I started charging $50 to do a full set. I got much, much better and I started charging $50. Um, when I started charging $50, that was when I ran this special called the Best Friend Special. And during that special, people would come two at a time. You can bring your mom, your sister, whomever you consider your best friend, and you guys can come and get your lashes done together. I had gained a lot of clientele from that um, $50 special. Um, and I would charge them $50 each. And a lot of people ask me, how did you come up with the Kylie set? Well, during that time, I had a client that came and she had long, pretty, beautiful eyelashes. They were full, they were like, she didn't even need lashes, but she wanted a little bit more enhancement. And she stated that she only wanted one length. She didn't want like a different mixture of lash extensions. She just wanted one length of lash extensions. So I was just like, okay, cool. I had never done that before for anybody else. And when I did it, and we finished two hours later, <laughs> um, we took the picture and I was just like, oh, these lashes look really good. Like I was like, can I take a picture? And I wanted to, they looked so good that I wanted to get the picture to be perfect. And I said, can we do a boomerang? And we done a boomerang on Instagram. And when I posted it, I had got a lot, a lot of hits from that. And I had gained more clientele and everybody wanted the kind of set. Now I placed a Instagram promotion on it. And when I placed the Instagram promotion on it, like I had got like a thousand views, 2,000, 3,000. I think I got all the way up to like 10 or 12,000. And now a year later, everybody, a year and like a few months later, everybody wants the Kylie set. The reason why I named it the Kylie set was because at the time Kylie had just came out with her cosmetic line or maybe I had just learned about her cosmetic line but she was like really in the media she was all in the blog she was all in the tabloids and she just was having a moment like it, it was everything like everything beauty was about Kylie because her line was bomb her um enhancements that she had done to herself was bomb and when I done the set for the young lady 
I felt like that was my moment. Like I felt like that was my Kylie moment. Like everything about that set was a bomb. And I felt like that would take me to the next level. Um, even now I have clients that still want, even if they want to remix it a little bit, they still want that Kylie set. Um, a lot of you guys DM me and ask me how to start a business, when to start, should you start? You guys ask me all kind of, you know, advice. Um, and I say that to say, it doesn't take a lot of money to start a business. It takes more discipline and determination. Uh, I'll tell you something that I used to do when I started initially practicing on people, I would tell them to send me $5 cash out. And the reason why I would ask them to send me $5 cash out was to secure their appointment. Um, $5 can't get you much um, when it comes to materials. It does add up. But the $5 was solely because I wanted to make sure that they would come. I wanted to learn how to do lashes so bad. I wanted to practice so bad that I wanted to make sure that they wouldn't tell me that they were coming and then they didn't show up. So I, I knew that if they send me their $5, they're going to come. So that day, I don't have anybody to practice on. So when I would get off from work, I would have all everybody, you know, during that week that I would practice on because they sent their $5. And when I got home from work, they would probably come. I used to get up at 6 o'clock, so they would come at about 7. You have to have determination. It has to be something that you really, really want to do. I hope this video inspires somebody to start today and not tomorrow. Um, you can't be afraid. You can't ask too many people for their opinions because sometimes that can be misleading. Um, a lot of people don't see what you see. All things positive around you do a lot of research. Um, another thing that I did was if you know of someone or if you follow an Instagram page and someone doing what you want to do or they're where you would like to be, um, I would say follow that person. I don't believe in copying. I believe in being inspired and learning from other people. Um, you don't have to use their same marketing skills, but you can learn from them. And I would say just study them and whatever clues or whatever gems that they drop during their live videos or during their Insta, Insta um, posts, um, you just take that and you learn from that. Um, if they're giving any seminars, save your money, take their seminars. Um, but it doesn't take a lot of money. If you, 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 I, will, I always tell people to just start any business that I ever had, including this one. I didn't plan it, I just started. So I hope that this video inspires someone to start today and not tomorrow. Um, I will be dropping more videos in the weeks to come. DM me, you guys questions, you guys don't like to leave comments, you love to send me DMs. So please DM me and let me know if you like this video. And I'll see you guys next week.